All right, so this is going to be the opposite arm and leg lift here, or raise, if you want to call it that. This is a midsection movement. With this, just lying on the ground, and the name kind of describes what you're doing. I have my leg here, my arm, opposite arm and leg, lift, reach, right? Coming up like this. So most people have probably seen this movement, right? So let's get into the finer details of it. One of the biggest things that I see here is either rest periods, so somebody says that this is too easy, yet they don't create a constant tension movement with this, or they begin to actually strain their body too much, specifically their neck. So with this, and, and actually their lower back too. So one of the things I do want to point out here is that my leg has a subtle bend in it. The reason for that is if I completely lock my leg out, my lower back, my QL, it's called your quadratus lumborum, this big muscle right here, has to actually counter the weight of my foot. And I don't want that. So what happens is my lower back does more of this than I want it to. So I have that subtle bend. Also, I'm going to stick to a range that I can handle. So when I go down, if I can't come all the way here and I'm feeling my back, but I don't feel it from here up, I'm gonna stop here, okay? Second thing here is that you see me kind of holding my head right now is because if I just hold like this, my neck does have to hold my head up. So for some people, they're gonna need to rest in between each single rep. They're gonna have to come all the way here. That's a rest period though. So for some people, that's kind of the scale that we deal with here. The rest is if it's too much for my neck or my midsection, right, my abs. If it's not, and I wanna make this a little bit more difficult here, I'm gonna keep my shoulder blades up off the ground so when I reach back, I won't fully rest. I'll come here. My arm is straight, so it's stretched. I'll come up. When I come up, I'm reaching my hand to the outside of my foot and I'm squeezing my stomach as hard as I can. I'm gonna stretch out. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna squeeze. So here's the exhale, inhale. And I'm trying to lift as high as I can, creating as much compression on this as I can. And you will feel that. It's really just that intent behind the movement that we think about with this. So as I come up, I wanna squeeze my abs as tight as I can, and then I'm gonna take a deep breath in, I'm gonna stretch out, I'm gonna elongate, and then I'm gonna come back up. Typically for my clients, we're looking at five reps per side, eight reps, 10 reps, or even 12. I typically don't go more than 12 because if I have that intent behind this movement, in terms of volume, I don't need it. I'm not typically going very, very fast. I want that time under tension, right? So with this, I'm gonna treat it at a medium pace. I'm not gonna try to breeze through it so that the whole time, my midsection is just under tension. With this, I typically do one side and then the other. You don't have to do that. Some people like to alternate, but the setup is gonna be a little bit different because dependent upon whether or not I'm gonna take that rest or I'm gonna to try to keep my head up or my shoulder blades elevated with this, it's gonna make it a little bit more difficult to alternate. So preference on that, if you do wanna alternate, awesome, just be mindful of the neck position here. My recommendation though is just stick with the one side, do your reps and then switch to the other side. Big thing here, make sure that you're breathing, make sure that you're in tune with what's going on with the body. If you feel like your neck is getting too tight, Maybe we do a handful of reps and then we take a breather and we actually let that rest, meaning I can break this up. I do three, my neck gets too tight, I rest for that second and then I come up and I keep going with this. So that is it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.